I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was either you or him, right? It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. Oh, I'm a soldier. A very... Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, you settled in. Took some time to go back into the flight simulator and you know, get some, I guess, better skills, able to fly better ships, able to maneuver. Got thrusters now. Level three piloting experience. So you're in good hands now. I think I need to get a little rest though before we lift off and I thought it would be time that we go and get Barrett before we get deep into this Terramorph thing. Wow, you are the soundest sleeper I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, start your preparations for liftoff. Thanks for the warning about Altair. Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and hoo <laughs> hoo boy! Spacers all over the damn place there. Distress call, yammering nonstop. Something big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game, this we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? What did the dis what did the distress call say? Oh, it sounded bad, real bad. But I had my own problems. I had to plot a course out before the spacers took out my grav drive. Sorry, I'm just not constitutionally capable of the big space fight thing. Well, you were lucky to make it out of there. As soon as my grab drive can spin up, but uh, yeah, lucky. Bye, Charlie Three. You've been like the best Charlie Three I talked to all week. All right, so we've got trouble in the Altair system, but we have other things pressing right now. Prepare for landing. Maroon. I have something. Oh, here we go again. We should have a talk when you have the time. 
Hold on. sometimes just puts me out here I'm listening. in hostile environment come on it's crazy well you're back Lynn uh, uh, uh. don't you Lynn me I thought things had already gone sideways but no that was just the beginning more pirates showed up when you were gone we weren't as lucky this time Calvert Troy some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, well, I was you told me to behind leave. some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Hmm. I know that talk. Suicide mission. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Oh, really? Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> Tell me what happened. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up. And both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. Hmm. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Hella. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. All right, fix There's the comms computer. To to you about. Are you still on again about this? What is it? Thanks for taking the time to talk. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. You have been when asking me about this artifact. Rock, held it in your hands for the first for time. For the last few days. How do you feel? Look. We've been over this, but if I have to say it, I had visions, okay? So we can just put this to rest. I had visions, I heard sounds, I heard music. It was difficult to describe, okay? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. What do you mean I don't understand? I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? In, what? What? what were your thoughts? Well, I have to say it was like being instantaneously pulled across the entire galaxy. Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science, well, simply fails. Why didn't you bring this up at the Lodge? Honestly, I wasn't sure how you'd react. Some people would consider what you went through a deeply personal experience. Well, you've been hounding me about this for so long, I figured we'd just have to get this conversation over with. Hmm. I may want to share all my personal experiences with you. Oh. Well, uh, I, uh, I enjoy hearing about them. I Professionally, bet you would. of course. Either way, um, we need all the help we can get. 
The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. When you say it spoke to me, what exactly do you mean? Well, judging from the fact that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. Music composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. Hmm. Even if we could answer, what would we say? Oh, that's... an excellent question. You'd think after years of gathering data about the artifacts, I'd have the perfect answer to that. But I haven't the faintest idea. Well, I think it's time that you started thinking about it. What sort of data have you gathered? Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Maybe you're not getting enough help from your colleagues. No, that's not it at all. Solving a mystery like this, it's an explorer's dream. Believe me, they're all as driven as I am to find an answer. All right, then we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. <laughs> Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. All right, well, good for you. All right then, let's go. We need to get over here and see if we can't fix these comms. eyes open for something useful. Alright, how do we get in here? What? Well, I have to pick the lock. Here we go. today. All right, here we go. I don't think this is going to be the right one.
Sucker failed. and that's supposed to be an easy lock. There was nothing easy. You want to try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I can't get to it. I'm a soldier. I'm not a thief. It's ridiculous. All right, Sarah. We're going to have to go and find something else to do. I got no digipics. Don't know how to lock pick. I was lucky earlier on, and that's supposed to be a novice lock. Let's get out of here. I just warm up the engines. Well, let's go see if we can talk to Vladimir.
Okay, where's my... My docking prompt here. Still haven't gotten the the knack of docking. All right, Sarah, come on. Haven't set foot on the eye for ages. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. Good, a med pack. Looks like he must be through here. Well, sir, hello. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. And here I thought I was the only one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms. Ha! Ah, gotta pass the hours on the Star Station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. Wish I could have been down at the Lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Peeking through the eye? Is that, uh, pirate talk? That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. All right, well, somebody should have grabbed you. It was incredible. Sorry you missed it. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. The Sea of Lights? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet, and that takes years to get here. Lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. 
only going to be able to give you so many at once. All right, well, understood. I need to check on these leads in person. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. <laughs> okay. Who is Andresia? Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Alright, well, I'll keep an eye out for her. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but... We all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. All right. Well, how did you get mixed up with Constellation? Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus Proclamation? No, the original what? treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a Crimson Fleet Rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Okay, I see, so... Hopefully somebody had told me that you were ex-Crimson Fleet. But I'm not picking up on that till just now. But anyhow, so you're retired from the Crimson Fleet. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? <clears throat> All right. Did we get everything we need from him? You got anything stashed away here? Well, I guess we're leaving. Find Andresia. All right, let's get this freight into space. Andresia, then it says Piazza. Piazza 1, I guess it is. So, this is where we're headed. Stand by. An 
initiating grab jump. The atmosphere is uh, kind of deadly. And I was able to level up my boost pack. Can't really tell the difference though. This is an impressive mining operation. Uh-oh. Look out. Proximity mine. Don't come any closer. Easy Identify now. Identify yourself. Hmm. Well, I'm with Constellation. Vladimir Saul sent me to find you. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Looks like they had good reason. Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Okay. Um kind of clueless as to what your mission is. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Uh-oh, it looks like we got some people up ahead. What's in this weapon case here? A side star. Something here, sealant. I'll take it for now. I got a digi pick.
Let's keep moving. Calibrated ground crew pack. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, two mid mid packs. Excellent. All right, another digi pick. Is he dead? I think we should go down slowly. Check out the area. I'm not sure exactly where we're headed. Cerberus agents from a different uh, universe. I wonder if the spacesuit is any good.
there another way around? If I jump down... when I called to you after you what? pulled out the artifact. Uh, hello? Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Um... Just count yourself lucky that you didn't have to do that. Barrett told me the headaches afterwards were immense. I see he did not exaggerate. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there man what I had done it was either you or him right it was yes I appreciate that you see it that way oh, I'm a, a very practical outlook not one I find is shared amongst members of constellation well that's their that's their loss may I ask what your background is <laughs> um well I was a miner Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... The circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner Varun. me. Varun? If it is known that this has happened again, well, 
has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Hmm. Um, Varun Zealots? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. All right. Yeah, we encountered some Varun ships earlier, but don't worry. I've got you. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Yes. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Where's Sarah? anything useful? Yes, I did. Oh, this is certain to make us both very happy indeed. Incendiary Sysdef Pack. Starting a mining operation like this takes time, patience, and a hell of a lot of credits. All right, let's get back to the ship. All right, Captain. Where are we headed next? That's a good question. 